What's going on everybody? Wayne's Workshop here and I just finished this Iron Man Mark 48 Infinity War uh, helmet and it is completely dinged up. I'll uh, focus right here and this is actually going to be part of a um, series in where I do the entire helmet and the end game is to show you how to mechanize the faceplate and I'll teach you all that are doing new stuff but this one is just how to get like this chipped painting uh, weather effect with the silver and the dirt and grime shining through the gold and you can use this technique for any helmet of course uh, and even if it's out of foam or uh, thermoplastic, this one was a 3D print. I sanded this whole thing smooth, then put on a nice good coat of primer. And then for the silver, I used the X11 Chrome Silver from Tamiya. And once that's all dry, I grabbed the liquid masking. And I started blocking out uh, the silver where I wanted the silver to eventually shine where my gold was supposed to be or you know where you want your battle damage to be you can go nuts with this of course but I prefer the less is more approach so I'm not going too crazy on this one once you've applied all the liquid masking it's time to let that stuff dry then I went on to grab my gold. My gold is a flat metallic gold, but this can be any color you want, of course. And then I spray my entire mask with my gold as you would normally. I've applied about three layers of gold, and once that was fully dried, I grabbed a tiny knife and some paper, and I started peeling away all of the liquid masking. What I did is make a small cut in the liquid masking and then with either paper or just by the rubbing of my thumb rub off all of the liquid masking and then revealing the silver underneath. Now you have a chipped paint effect but it still looks kind of fresh. To get it kind of grimy looking you grab some black acrylic and a damp paper towel and then with a small brush uh, dip it in your black acrylic, uh, get off all of the black and then go over the silver spots and really get in the line where silver meets gold. There is a small ridge there that will take more paint. Once you've put it on, grab your uh, damp paper towel and start wiping it off again. Go gently around the edges to, so that the black stays in the edge where the silver meets the gold. This gives a black small outline and really uh, separates the two and gives it that grimy battle damage look. And just like the rest, you can go heavy on this, you can go mild on this, this is purely up to your own taste. Now if that's not enough, you can grab one of these silver paint pens and then load them up by pressing the point and then go over the ridges where you might want some silver outlining to be. Uh, again, I prefer the less is more approach here and I just dibble dabble a few lines here and there. But as with anything else, you can go nuts with this if you so choose. And once all of that is dry, it's time to protect it of course with some clear coat. I did about three layers of clear coat to really protect it from scratches and it's a, a nice high gloss so it's nice and shiny. And then we can call this sucker done. And there you have it, some quick little painting tips on how I did uh, this faceplate. Uh, this will be a uh, part of a multi-tutorial series where I do the entire helmet and then the aim is the final tutorial is where I show you how to move the faceplate up and down with Arduino and Servo. So stay tuned for that. Of course, plenty of other tutorials are coming and uh, 
a big shout out to everybody who supported the channel. Uh, we uh, got to the 4K, 1K rule of Google. That means we reached 4,000 watch hours and we're well over 1,000 subscribers now. So I can stay with any partnership program. So really a big thanks to everybody. And uh, if you remember this shirt, you go way back. So props to you. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.